We're back with another zone five exercise. Again, this is gonna be mobilizing the neck and the upper shoulder area about C3 uh, through C7. C7 is right in the transition between the cervical and thoracic spine. A lot of people that have issues in this area aren't moving enough and they may even be de developing like a Dowinger's hump back here. So this is a really good exercise to start incorporating uh, some movement and some flow. So what we're gonna do, this is a, called a thoracic mobilization. Um, your arms can start off the side, they could both be down, that's fine, and um, or even up, it doesn't really matter. And what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, turn your head, and as you turn your head to a side, you're gonna basically, that arm's gonna um, uh, be down on the side you're turning to, and then as you turn back, you're just going to be rotating your arms back and forth like this. The, the way you turn your head, that hand's going to be kind of down. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but you're just creating a kind of a smooth rhythm, just kind of back and forth. This is a easy, kind of easy way to start off at first. Just turn your head to the side where the palm's facing down. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but you're just kind of going back and forth. Later on, you can tie your breath into it. So you can start um, uh, uh, here and then breathe in. And as you um, turn your head and get about halfway, you can exhale. It's a lot slower doing it that way, or just kind of move back and back and forth, um, just kind of timing your turning with the hand down. You can have your hands kind of extend out like a rag, kind of like twisting a rag a little bit, where you're really um, externally rotating on one side, and um, or actually, yeah, turning out, turning it in on one side, and flipping it back and forth like this. Or it could be like a teeter totter thing where one is up one is down kind of like that so really what you're just trying to do is just kind of move this area with your neck your neck's moving with your arms and that will help create a lot of flow in that area this is good for the thyroid obviously and the parathyroid so give that a try maybe just start um, with the the whole idea of turning the head remember palm down and just kind of back and forth you can do that about 10 times on a side and just kind of create a, a flow, a rhythm, and add that into the mix. Thanks.